Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at the sun, at Hurricane Nadalia, which has made landfall in Florida, a strange galaxy, and an excellent paper on solar variability. Links will be below the video in the description box, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. No significant solar flaring occurred. The incoming active regions won't be facing Earth for another 36 to 48 hours. The central plasma filaments remain the top watch today for solar eruptive activity, especially with a minor destabilization in one of them appearing to begin this morning. You can see the other plasma filaments dancing around the limbs, especially on the north, but it's the one just north of the equator near central Earth-facing longitudes that is distending this morning and which we're watching for release. As we mentioned, the hurricane had made landfall just a bit ago as a Category 3 storm. This is obviously an ongoing event. Hopefully, everyone is safe. This is the combined geocolor and lightning overlay from the GOES satellites. Prayers for the area as we go on to an interesting paper about a puzzling galaxy. It is super far away, indicating it's been there for a while, but it has signatures of a young object. It appears enriched with heavier elements from nova events, which suggests an older galaxy, but it's relatively dust-free, and those nova events would have made lots of dust. The galaxy appears to be quite the paradox and rule-breaker, mystery unsolved. Lastly here, folks, an absolutely outstanding paper on long-term solar variability. Everything from cycle forecasting to cumulative impacts of small events to grand solar minima and even super flare activity. The paper does not make a definitive statement about the maximum energy flare we can expect from the sun, but does indicate that something in the X1000 range is likely possible on millennial time scales, and indicates that up to X100,000 flares have been seen on other stars, even sunlight stars. This, at the very least, confirms the previous findings that super rare flares in the X100 to X1000 range are almost certainly possible on the sun, while leaving the door open to even larger events. Any such event, when it happens again, and it's only a matter of time, we'll throw this planet back to the Stone Age, and we happen to be due for that event in the coming few solar cycles. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn a lot more and check out your resources in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.